Chain Wrestling Flow Roll is back. I know it has been a while, but with the winter camp just gone, I saw that as a perfect opportunity to mix it up with some interstate and overseas fresh faces for the roll. So here we are with uh, YC from Grapple Max in Singapore. And YC is someone who fairly new to the game, but he actually participated in one of our camps about a year ago. Unfortunately, he got COVID along the way and had to pull out early. So I knew that when he did come back, I was going to put him right to the top of the list and, and have a little roll around and, and just to see what kind of style he brings. You know, different countries, different promotions, you do see some subtle differences. And with a name like Grapple Max, you would expect there to be quite a solid foundation uh, in the grappling style. So here we are with YC locked on a waist lock. Uh, I broke it now, locking in a double wrist lock into the takeover. I like to get the head scissors as well while trying to maintain the double wrist lock. He broke free. So just sticking to the head scissors here. YC doing a good job now of of trying to bridge up, bring, bring his shoulders off the mat, hips to the sky, just eases that pressure a little. And then that allowed him to free up some space and kick right back out. Here I'm going for the uh, Greco-Roman knuckle lock. You'll see I was changing levels. That just, just opens up new options and I try to get a reaction from my opponents which changes my pathway moving forward. Going for a bit of a test of strength, YC bridging to avoid having his shoulders pinned to the mat and here I'm just using head pressure into the jaw just to keep YC away from from grabbing a hold of me or taking control of one of my limbs shooting under with the back take into a, a face lock or a little bit of a, a, a pro wrestling style cross face knee in the lower back and I recognize that as an option to get the pin with YC's shoulders down and on the kick out regaining that lock there, so the double wrist lock grip with just a, uh, a straight arm lock. Smart from YC with the arm drag, getting one of his own. There's not a lot of ways out of that lock. It's, it's a very strong position that you actually don't see much of, but uh, the arm drag is, is certainly an easy way out. Just working up here, I took control of the chin. General principle, wherever the head goes, the body follows. So. If I can pull the chin in one direction, I know that his body's going to follow. Here, getting the hammerlock with you by using the legs into a modified version of the Tequila Sunrise. So you've got a half crab on the uh, on the top, and you've got a, a hammerlock on the bottom. Now just figure fouring the legs and using the opportunity with YC tied up to continue to change position there. Not sure what I was going for. And that's often the case with a flow roll. It's all about being creative. Rolling crucifix pin, which you can find on the World Beta Wrestling channel. But yeah, as I, as I was saying, this is really about just going light. It, it, it's like a 60 to 70% roll. You're not trying to, to lock them down or resist really hard. You know, if, you, if your opponent's searching for something, you kind of let them take it and you see where it leads. And often it leads to a dead end, but you just release and start again. Just there, I got a uh, it went into an Indian death lock and then the butterfly lock up top. Again, this is another submission I've covered in my World Beta Wrestling series. Just a little bit of lucha there. I was searching for the armbar there. He actually brought his his hand down. Uh, so now, <laughs> using using the top wrist lock to to gain a like a shoot style, a grapple style, wrist lock, um, something you commonly see in jiu-jitsu gyms when your training partners are being nice and difficult. <laughs> but the wrist lock is super effective. Not many people use it in the right way, if at all. Got the cover, kick out. One thing I'm always teaching my trainees is if their shoulders are pinned to the mat, if they're flat on their back, just pin them, just cover them. Don't search for a submission. Don't try to go anywhere else. There with a knuckle lock, breaking one hand, keeping control of the other so that I can get that little reverse wrist, wrist takedown. And using the feet to pin the shoulders. Again, YC doing a really good job of bridging up to avoid the pinfall. So here YC is in a little bit of trouble. Often you'll see people bring their feet up, kind of like what he did. He, he's trying to kick out. Generally, they'll bring their feet up and, and try to push 
their opponent back. Uh, but we keep on moving, and, and now a little series of wrist locks. Nice little transition into the hammer lock. Then the headlock. Always on the move, YC, which is a really good trait. And that's part of chain wrestling. It's continuing to go from hold to hold to hold. If they start to counter, keep on moving. Of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, worldbeaterwrestling.com. Click that little like button below. I appreciate all the support and it certainly helps the channel and my growth as a coach. Here again, locking the leg with a grapevine, pulling the chin in the other direction. YC's base a little narrow, which was throwing him off balance. Really, if you're in that position, you want to have a nice wide stance. You want to bend those knees and just avoid being taken down to, to a grounded position. Locking in the standing surfboard. YC using his knee to break into the headlock. A really beautiful counter there. Headlock takedown into the head scissors. Kicking out once more, and that is the end of the flow roll. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.